Hi, I'm Carol Jean Whittington, and I'm the socially intelligent autistic. I have not always been socially intelligent, but I've been hard fought to get where I am today. So I'm here to share it with you. I didn't find out I was autistic until I was 39 years old. So for four entire decades, I spent my life going, why did they just say that? I don't get it. Why did they do that? It makes absolutely no sense to me. Sometimes I'd figure it out. Sometimes I'd kind of figure it out. Other times it was a complete disaster and I never got it. Well, here's the thing. There's this great new field of study out there and it's called social neuroscience. So researchers go into the brain using a functional MRI and during social behaviors, social functions, they can look at using a functional MRI to see how the brain lights up, what parts of the brain are being engaged. And as autistic people, our brains are amazing. They're incredible things. And I get super excited about it because in some of these studies, it's showing where our brains as autistic people in the same exact situation as a neurotypical person, well, a neurotypical might just be lighting up in one little place during this particular exercise. Well, the autistic person, our brains are lighting up in like four different places. So our brains are engaging and they're using all different parts and pieces. And so it's so cool to see that. So for all those things that I've always gone, okay, why does, why does that person doing that? Why, why do I think differently from them? Well, I can get it. I can see it. And I'm going to share this with you. Our discussions that we're going to be having, they're about social norms. They're about things that are happening in our lives. Why somebody says something, why somebody behaves in a certain way, because as humans, we all have a personality and they're essentially just depending on where you go and what you're talking about. You know, if you are in social psychology, if you're in social neuroscience, you know, all of these things come together. Vision science plays into this too, because it's not just about uh, how your brain thinks. It's also about the world as your eyes take it in, as you perceive the world and how your brain processes what you see. It's not about your acuity, not your 2020, not how clearly you see something, but it's how your brain processes what your eyes take in. So we're going to be talking about all these really cool things in science, but we're going to be talking about them in a really practical way. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about some social norms. We're going to talk about smiling because as autistic people and as Americans in American society, smiling is its own thing. It, it's a whole social norm in and of itself that doesn't exist everywhere in the world. And it's super cool. And I can't wait to share it with you. So make sure you subscribe below because each Thursday you'll get the latest science research, what's out there, what's going on. We're going to have a great discussion about it um, from our perspective as autistic people, from how a neurotypical brain, if it responds differently or similarly to ours, and we're also going to talk about some actionable steps that you can try to practice different things at home. This is not about changing who we are as autistic people. This is not about masking. This is not about trying to conform or fit in. This is about being us as autistic people in the world and better understanding not just us, but the other person. But this is also a conversation and a way for us to share and educate the rest of the world about us, about how our brains work, about things that we think and feel and why we behave the way we do, because there's always a reason. As an autistic person, I can tell you exactly why I did what I did, just like you can. Sometimes it's not always the easiest to verbalize and to put that into words, but that's why we're here together. We're going to come together and put these things into words so that we can not only understand ourselves better, so that we can understand other people better, so that we can share ourselves with other people so they can understand us and learn to appreciate and love our amazing, incredible brains just like we do. So every Thursday, join me here. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the latest and greatest. Also, in the comment section below, tell me what is a social norm that you've always been completely stumped by? Why do you find it completely bizarre? What is it that somebody says that you've never understood? What's an expression that people use? They're just like, I don't get it. Let's talk about these things. So join me next week on Thursday as we talk about the social norm of smiling on a global scale, because it's not always about where you are. Social norms are so exciting. They're really cool and they change and they flow. 
So let's learn why a social norm in one place is not the same in another. Why a social norm today is not the social norm of tomorrow and how that affects us and how we have to learn to uh, identify them, understand them, and interpret and be able to interact in that social norm so that we're not feeling awkward or out of place or have somebody go, man, you're so weird because I've had that. It's not good. It's not fun. So join me here. Let's share each week. Drop your comments. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the like button. And let's start this journey together.